let's see who's watching my GMC Sierra 1500 Denali Ultimate video today. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't do that while you're watching, right? Well, actually, it doesn't really matter because Super Cruise is engaged. And that's really cool. I've never had a chance to do this before. Now, I'm not going to be looking at you a lot because if you look away from the steering wheel for long enough, or from the road, so to speak, then what's going to happen is the Super Cruise will actually disengage. So I'm going to show you how easy this is to use today. It's quite an interesting experience. I'm just driving along here or letting the truck drive itself. It's semi-autonomous driving. And if you're somebody who said, you know, my vehicle has Super Cruise or maybe the vehicle you want has Super Cruise and you're wanting to get that feature and use it or maybe you're afraid of it. Well, guess what? It's really simple to use. As you can probably see right there, the truck just changed lanes very impressive, very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up the road here a little ways and I'm going to change your position with the camera and then we'll keep driving and let you actually see how all of this works. There's one thing that has changed that I'm going to tell you about that you may or may not know about, but let's get up the road. I'll change your position with the camera and we'll keep going. Wow, I hope you saw that. That F-150 just flat blew the light right there. Congratulations, another one of those great drivers in Shreveport, Louisiana. Okay, I'm not gonna get distracted now that we're on the road. Now, one thing I do wanna say quickly before we turn on Super Cruise, if you wanna see a full video on a 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali Ultimate, that's what I'm driving today, check out the pinned comment on this video or the link in the description of the video. So here's what we're gonna do. This. SUV right here is driving grossly under the speed limit. It is 75 or 70 miles an hour in here. Wow, that's unbelievable. So all you have to do to set the Super Cruise, there's a button down here on the bottom right-hand side of the left-hand side of the steering wheel. I'm going to push that and you see this indicator, the green indicator up here that came on. So here is how this works. It's so simple. I'm not driving hands-free, feet, on, not on the gas pedal or the brake pedal. I don't have to do anything. The cool thing, and hopefully the truck will do this for me. We'll make sure it happens before we finish this up. But it will do everything for you, basically. It will slow down if it needs to and then speed back up to the speed limit. It will brake for you. If I need to change lanes, okay, good. It's changing lanes for me. See that? And I don't know if you can see what it did. This truck is a talented driver. It's not the kind of truck that would run that red light like the F-150 we saw back there. It actually used the blinker to change lanes. That's how simple this is. It is absolutely awesome to do this. So, you know, for those of you that are maybe saying, well, my, my truck or my Yukon has Super Cruise, but I'm kind of nervous about using it. Try it out. It's not that bad. It's not really a disconcerting experience. Once you do it, it's not bad at all. And there's a few safety features that go along with this that will definitely help you to say, oh, that makes me feel even better. Such as, if you look away, I believe it's for 10 seconds, look away from the steering wheel, from the from looking forward basically, it, it knows which direction you're looking in. And so what happens is it will actually deactivate Super Cruise. Your seat will vibrate when it does that and it basically gives you an indication of what it's doing. The seat also vibrates on the appropriate side when it's using the blinkers and changing lanes when you're driving down the road. If there's somebody that's driving under the speed that you are in say the right hand lane and it needs to get into the left-hand lane to pass that slower moving vehicle, well, it's going to do that and it's going to vibrate on the left-hand side of the seat to let you know I'm about to change lanes. You don't have to do anything. It's a very smooth transition and it's really that simple. And one thing that has changed apparently, I haven't researched this for sure to find out for sure, but one thing that I, I know has changed, it used to be that with Super Cruise, you lost the heated steering wheel. Well, guess what? It's not that way now. If you turn the heated seats on, the heated steering wheel comes on as well. So that is one thing that has changed because the heated steering wheel button used to be down here where the Super Cruise button is. So this whole situation is just so easy and so simple. It is amazing how nice this is. So we're gonna merge back onto the road. We're gonna get by these guys here and be nice and move over as much as we can and not make anyone nervous. He was looking, but that's okay. 
So we're going to get on up to speed here. We'll give a little demonstration of how to drive for some of you folks. I'm merging onto the interstate here. I'm driving above the speed limit a little bit to do so, so I can be ahead of traffic. And if there was anybody behind me, they wouldn't be in danger of having to deal with merging onto the interstate where it's 70 mile per hour speed limit doing 40 or 30, as some people do. So let's speed up a little bit more here. This is just how easy this is to use. So there we go. The green is on. Now, one thing I want to say, if you had a medical emergency as a driver or you fell asleep, something unusual happened, the truck is going to notice that you're inattentive. It's going to, the seat's going to vibrate. It's going to change colors here on the steering wheel. I believe it goes to red. I hope I'm saying this correctly, but one way or another, these things are going to happen. And it will give you a couple of different indicators. It will call OnStar, and if OnStar cannot get a response out of you, OnStar will call 911, send them to your location, and the truck will automatically start slowing down. It will put on the hazard lights and will slowly begin to slow the truck down until it comes to a complete stop. It's going to get over, but it's not going to get over off of the road. It's not going to get onto the shoulder or anything like that. But just so you kind of have an idea of what goes on in that given situation, well, it's pretty simple to deal with. So we're going to slow down here. Uh, the speed limit has dropped, so I'm just going to drop the speed limit here or the speed for the truck here. And we're good there. You can see that it didn't ever deactivate. Pretty simple. There's not enough traffic around to get it to change lanes again for me, but that's okay. But that's how easy it is to use. Those are the safety features that go along with it in case you're wondering, well, what happens if I look away or fall asleep or something unusual happens? Well, the truck lets you know what's going on. The seat vibrates. You're in really good shape. So that's how easy it is to use Super Cruise in the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali Ultimate. That is a mouthful, by the way. Again, if you want to see the full video on an identical truck to this one, it was a 23, but it was black instead of white. It's the only difference. It didn't have Super Cruise either. Well, check out the pinned comment in the video here or check out the description and I'll see you there in just a second.